design pavilions across the square to protect pedestrians in the rain in this new game from Queen Games called Helsinki. <laughs> Thank you for joining me here at Tantrum Mouth Studio D. Helsinki is a tile laying game for two to four players, plays in about 45 minutes. Now this game has its roots in another Queen's game called Copenhagen. And this one is designed by the same design team. They sent us this prototype copy to look at and it's coming to Kickstarter. Our goal for overview videos is to give you a good idea of what the game is. We are not reviewing or critiquing the game. During setup, you'll place out the main board that holds the cards and player pawns. Players get a personal board that will have a statue in the middle and also holds their coat of arms. And we'll start the game with a couple of cards. The game also comes with an action board and wooden buildings called superstructures. Here's a quick overview of Helsinki. On your turn, you're gonna move your pawn one to three spots clockwise and then either draw cards or play cards in order to play a tile on your board. You'll be trying to complete rows and columns to score points in the game. The game end will be triggered when the last card is drawn from the deck. And you'll be going to final scoring. Let's look at the turns a little bit more in depth. Now after you move, if you choose to draw cards, you'll grab the two on either side of your player pawn and add it to your hand. Your hand limit is seven cards. Or Instead of drawing cards, after you move, you can add a tile onto your board, but in order to do this, you need to play a card from your hand that matches the shape you want to place. The number on that card means that's the total number of cards you play from your hand equal to that number, and they have to match the color. There's a specific way you place your tile on your board. You look at what side of the main board your player pawns on, and you push your tile on your board from that same side. You have to push your tile so it stops against the center statue or against another tile on your board. You'll be gaining any superstructures indicated on that card and place them on the tile you just placed. You'll gain a bonus card from the draw deck if the tile you place touches another tile of the same color. The other main part of Helsinki is the coat of arms. When you cover up one, you put it on your meadow. You can use it on any of your turns as they provide special benefits. That's what the action board's for. I'm not going to go through all the benefits, but they let you do things like move your player pawn farther than three spaces, gaining wild tiles, uh, needing fewer cards to build a tile, things like that. But you can't do the same one twice in a single game. Spend the coat of arms on the action you want to take. At the end of the game, you'll get two points for each complete row and each complete column, three points for each superstructure at the intersection of a complete row and column, but only one point if it's just a column or a row that's complete. The player with the most points wins. Let's look a little bit more in depth at the cards and tiles. Now there's five different colors. Tiles go as small as two blocks and as big as five blocks big. Each color sort of has its own sort of shapes. So purple are all like straight pieces. Blue has corners and red's a little bit more blocky with those larger tiles. The tiles and the cards have a range of numbers. So even though a card might be four blocks big, you may only have to play three cards for it or a tile on a card may only be three blocks, but you have to pay four cards because it has two superstructures that you can play on it, so maybe a possibility of more points. There's definitely some planning as you not only pick the color card you need, but also making sure you get your player pawn to the right side of the board, or the left side, <laughs> either side, that works for you, so you can push your tile on your board the way you need it to be placed. Turns are pretty quick, especially if you're just drawing cards, so the game is pretty fast. There's a couple of expansions that we had available to us for the prototype. One was called Dry Roads, where you place visitors on each side of your player board, and you're trying to connect all of them together with the tiles that you're playing. You'll get a bonus card if there's one available from the supply, so first come, first serve. The other expansion adds multi-colored tiles that you have to play different color cards in order to place uh, those kinds of tiles. And there's a possibility of getting more bonus card draws because remember when you match them, you get a bonus card. So you have to at least match two of the colors from those multicolored tiles when you place them on the board. Let's take a moment and compare Helsinki to Copenhagen. Of course, the components are similar. They both have polyamono tiles, but they also have coat of arms. In um, both games, you're gaining bonuses for those. There's a little bit of similarity in that you're trying to complete rows and columns. Um, in Copenhagen, you're sort of doing that 
from top to bottom, not nearly. You can honestly place them in any spot you want on, um, on, that, on your board. In Helsinki, you are pushing them from four different sides, trying to wrap your head around the best strategy to do that. If you're looking for a new polyamino tile lane game, then check out Helsinki on Kickstarter and let me know in the comments what's your favorite tile lane game. And as always, we'd love for you to subscribe to Tantrum House. Let's spread the love of board gaming.